Today we're going to talk about why you should not be an entrepreneur. Welcome to our new office of Next Factor. The goal for us here at Next Factor is to be able to help more small, medium-sized businesses, which could be you, which could be your mom and pop shop, which could be your new startup, it could be your new e-commerce platform that you're starting. Let me show you the space. So it's a Friday night, everybody just left. It's about 10 o'clock now. I'm uh, still finishing a couple of different things. So over here, just a quick floor, we have our office right here. Uh, we will be taking care of the sales team here, and then we also have digital marketing project managers here. So these are the five things that I've encountered personally, and I've heard a lot of other small business owners or entrepreneurs have actually faced. Number one, inconsistent income. When you're an entrepreneur, you don't know how much you're getting paid on a weekly basis or bi weekly basis. Similar to what we have in the gig economy, if you're an Uber driver, freelancer, you know, your income really depends on how your business is performing. So when I started out Morbius.net, I was selling different type of media market, media, social media marketing services. Every month's revenue, it went from a couple thousand dollars to the next month, it could be, you know, one thousand dollars. You have costs that come up that you're not aware of. When you're an entrepreneur, you're doing your own business, you really have this inconsistent income. The second thing you can think about is really the risk and reward ratio. For example, you, you become an investment banker, you put a lot of hours in, you network, you get the job, you learn on the job, and you get paid really well, you get paid handsomely, and it's very stable. As an entrepreneur, you put in the same number of hours, uh, maybe even more because you have to work on Saturday and Sunday. You can live on six hours sleep. So you have 18 hours. You have 18 p.m. hours. I want to know what you're doing with your 18 hours. But you might come up with zero dollars at the end of the month. I have months you run negative no matter how much effort you're putting in. Oh, I'm coming in. Hold on one second. It's off hours right now. Some calls get bounced into my phone call. This is the real life. You know, you pick up a phone call at 10 o'clock. The third thing is the odds are stacked against you. This all seems horrible. In order to succeed in today's business world, you really need to have a niche. If you're running any business, if you have a startup, you need a niche. You need to have, you need to have an edge. In order to succeed and for you to win in this world or build a profitable business, you better have an edge. The fourth thing is, you're ready to take on negativity and criticism that you'll face from your family and friends and be able to push through that? Are you ready to start a business? Do you have enough passive income to survive? These are real questions that you have to think about and consider and come up with solutions in order to run your business successfully. Uh, we have sort of a problem here. And to be honest, at times, and there, you know, I don't want to be dealing with uh, problems that a business is having uh, or clients are complaining about something on a Saturday night or a server crash uh, on a Sunday morning that I have to be up, change my game plan in order to help my clients or help my business. So if that is not your cup of tea, I would highly recommend not getting into the world of entrepreneurship. Why I choose to be an entrepreneur uh, over all those five cons. I faced the inconsistent cash flow myself. I have faced the negativity. I have faced the challenges of having to wake up on a Sunday. I have faced uh, all the issues we talked about today. It's to work with amazing people and see after all those challenges, the smiles that we bring to the end consumers. That's why I do what I do. I get to work with the people I love. I get to work on things I love and work at places I love. And that is why I choose entrepreneurship over 